St George's Cathedral, for so many years the pulpit from where Desmond Tutu preached against racial injustice. The Archbishop had insisted he didn't want a lavish funeral and his wish was granted. Please be seated. A simple service then and the numbers attending also restricted because of coronavirus measures. Family, friends, clergy and politicians gathering to pay their last respects to a man who embodied the church's moral response to fighting apartheid alongside Nelson Mandela's political struggle in South Africa. His coffin, which he'd requested be made of the cheapest material carried by his grandchildren. His wife, Nomaliza Lea Tutu, looked on the purple scarf, the colour of her late husband's clerical robes. Archbishop Desmond Tutu was without question a crusader in the struggle for freedom, for justice, for equality and for peace, not only in South Africa, the country of his birth, but around the world as well. That worldwide recognition led to a Nobel Peace Prize in 1984, and in a post-apartheid South Africa, Tutu never stopped fighting for his vision of the rainbow nation in which all races live in harmony. Archbishop Desmond Tutu has been our moral compass, but he's also been our national conscience. The president then handed over the national flag to Archbishop Tutu's widow as a final mark of respect. The service over, well-wishers lined the streets as the coffin was conveyed to the hearse. Paying their last respects to a man widely revered globally beyond South Africa's historic divides. And his ashes will be interred behind the cathedral's pulpit in a private ceremony.